Hello, everybody. Right, we're looking today at mean, median, mode, and range. We have done this before. You, sh you should have done this before in other um, – where's my – Laser. Um, and other year, years before, but we're going to go through it again. Okay, so we've got some Abbey Science test scores. We've got a couple of test scores. Let's see what we can do with them. What can you tell us about these numbers? So let's work, work mean, medium, mode, and range with them. Guys, again, with this, you need to write down notes. Okay, so we start off with what is the mean and how do we find it? Now, mean is the same as saying the average, okay? So mean and average are about the same. The mean is the numerical average of the data set. The mean is found by adding all the values. So you, all the values you get given, you add them up, and then you divide it by the number of values. So if you put 10 values in, you divide it by 10. If you put three values in and you add them together, you divide it by three. So let's find the mean on Abby's science test. So those are all her science tests that she's got. We add them up. All right, so we get 783. Now we've got, let's count how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So she's given us nine tests. So we divide this by nine. Divide the sum by the other values, so divide it by nine. And the mean is 87. So that is what her average is, really. Okay. Um, now we look at the median. Okay. Now, median, look, you can see medium. Medium always sits in the middle. And this is what a median is about. So the medium is the nu in the number is in the middle of a set of data. Arrange the numbers in the set from order from least to greatest. So that's the first thing you do. You take all your numbers, you put them from the smallest to the biggest. Then find the number that's sitting smack bang in the middle. So we go 63, 73, da, 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 and we look at the middle one. So that's one, two, three, four. That's one, two, three, four. So our middle one is 88. So that's our. But now what happens if you've got an even amount of numbers? So the median's 88. Um, half the numbers you can see here are less than the median, and the other half are greater than the median, okay? So median sounds like medium, and it's the middle. It's the middle one. What do we do if there's two numbers in the middle? We add them two numbers together, and we divide it by two. So if we had, say we had those two that were in the middle, so we had an even amount of numbers, we would add 88 and 95, divide it by two, that would give us our median. So 88 and 95, add them together, divide by two, and the median would be 91.5. Then we look at the mode. The mode, I always think, is another word for fashion. Okay, so um, uh, also they can also they also have other ideas of saying that it appears most often. How do we find it? The mode is the piece of data that occurs most frequently in the data set. So in a set, you can have one mode, so the one number that appears more than the others. You can have more than one because that happens sometimes, and they, or you can have nothing. They, none of them appear more than once. So if we look at these, arranging values from least to greatest makes it easier to find the mode. So we put that into least to greatest. Now, we've got 63, 73, 84, 86, 88, 95, 97, 97, 100. So what appears the most? 97 does. Okay. There you go. The value of 97 appears twice. All the other numbers just appear once. Therefore, 97 is the mode because it appears the most, okay? A hint for remembering the mode. The first two letters give you a hint. Mode, most often. Appears the most often. Mode, most often. Okay? All right, so let's have a look. Which set of data has one, only one mode? So you've got 9, 11, 16, 6, 7, 17, 18. Nothing's been repeated here. Okay, you've got 18, 7, 10, 7. Right, here's a mode there. And then we've got 9, 11, 68, and 16. But this one's got two modes because there's two 18s. This one's only got one mode. So I would say C. Yes, it is. Which set of data has no mode? So 9, 11, 16, 6, 7, 17, 18. Uh, none of those have been repeated. Those have repeated, and those have been repeated. So I would say A. Yep. And more than one mode, well, there's 18, 7, 10, 7, 18. So there's two lots of modes in this one. No, 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 yep. Yeah. Uh, that one's got one, so I would say C. Cool. 
Okay, the 7 and 18. All right, now the range. How do we find a range? The range, the difference, so you've got to do subtraction between the lowest and the highest values. Largest number, take away your smallest number, gives you the range. So arrange the values from least to greatest. Again, makes it easier, so there they are. Subtract the lowest value from the highest. So you're going to go 97, take 63. Gives you 34. 34 is your range or the spread of the set of data. So what are the range in the set of data? So you've got 99, 48, 86, 84. Uh, I would say 99 is your biggest. What's your smallest? 48. So I would subtract those two. Let's see. 48 is the smallest. 99 is the biggest. Smallest. Biggest, subtract them, 51 is your range. What's the range of this one? Put them into, into um, I nearly said alphabetical order, numerical order. 15 is your smallest, 85 is your biggest. Take them away from each other, there you have your range. What is the range in this set of data? Put them from smallest to biggest. You've got 119 is your smallest, 483 is your biggest. Subtract them, and there you go. Okay, so mean. Angry, this one requires more work than the others. Median, he's right in the middle. And your mode, you just find it. The one that's the, that appears the most often, the one that's the most fashionable.